Hello, my friends. It is me, Karen Valentine, and we are back to keep working on Cleo, the Egyptian goddess by Christine Karen. And today, I think we will get the hair done. And um, I don't know how long that will take. There's a lot of braids, but it might go a lot faster than I think it will. I'm not sure. Um, I am going to use my favorite um, black hair color combo, which is very simply 10% um, cool gray Prismacolor black. And then I like to use um, my Spiro Farben black. Um, you could use a Polychromos black. Or um, if you have neither of those, um, you could use a little bit of espresso, a very little bit. Um, because the reason that I like the Spiro Farben black is that it's a super warm black. And you'll see as, um, as we do it, um, when I add it over the top of the 10% cool gray, um, even though it's still black hair, um, it pulls in another um, dimension of color, another layer of, of different color other than just pure black. It kind of has a brownie look to it. So I am just going to um, get started and um, let's see. You know what I probably should do <laughs> is push my camera up a little bit. There we go. That way at least I'm not going to be too far, too much out of frame this this. All righty, so um, I'm just going to put in some of this 10% cool gray to start. So, her, so <laughs> I've been... Um, as I've been looking at her eyes, I keep looking at them and thinking that I made her look cross-eyed. And um, so I took out one of these, one of the little dots that were in there to see if that helped. It didn't seem to help. But like when I look at her right now, she doesn't look cross-eyed. But other times that I was looking at her, she looked cross-eyed. So I don't know what I did. Um, but maybe getting the hair on here will help. I don't know. Eyes can be, eyes can be hard sometimes. So if you don't get that, uh, if you don't get stuff in exactly the right spot, your brain knows it. The frustrating part is when that happens and you don't know what you need to do to fix it. It's like, I know something's wrong, but I don't know, don't know how to fix it. Those are the most frustrating times for me. Oh, and I am going to use my um, Caran d'Ache Full Blender in doing this hair. It really. Um, works really, really well <clears throat> um, in doing this, at least for me. I really like it, the way it blends everything out. funny how just doing the bangs makes a difference in how this looks. I've seen some beautiful versions of this page popping into my Facebook groups recently, too. Really, 
really nice. Okay. Of course, I didn't pull out <coughs> excuse me, my blender when I need, knew I was going to use it. I want it nice and sharp. So. It just amazes me how that just creates the most lovely, rich shine with those two colors. It's just amazing and then when I take the warm brown from Spira Farben and I put some of that in there It's, it's a nice addition. Be careful, I don't go too, get too crazy. It's like using three different, well it is using three different colors, even though they're both blacks. When you add this in, you're adding in a third color. And actually, I mean, if you don't have, um, if you don't have the, one of, you know, either the poly or this black, Really, you could just use the two colors and it would look fine. You don't even need to add the espresso. All right, just for fun, not really fun, but I'm gonna go ahead and fill in this black part now, I think. think I will need the other one for the dark part in here. Alrighty, let's do some braids. These little teeny tiny ones, I'm off, I think, are going to be. <laughs> I'm going to be a little challenging. I actually might go straight for the Spear of Farben, and not. I don't know. Let's see. We'll we'll see what happens. You know, the Prisma is so soft, and these are teeny tiny little areas. Uh, 
um, so a harder pencil might be better. Did I miss this? I guess I did. All right, let's need to be able to see what it's going to look like before I make that decision. But laying the gray down first, I think, will, will help in um, defining the braid a little bit. Is I want to make sure that the color is not too different from what I did on the top of her head. But maybe if we do this first and then add some Prisma Black to the deepest part, maybe that'll help. Let's see. Yeah, you can, I mean, I think you can see how much browner um, this looks. I don't know, I think I better stick with using the uh, Prisma. It really does give me closer to what I want. Although this is working pretty good too, using this in the deep part. Hmm. All right, we're going to do this one and then I'm going to do the next one with just with the prisma. Let's see what it looks like. It's almost like instead of, um, it's almost like I'm just making circles, uh, ovals around the braid. Trying to leave that highlight in the center. I think I'm going to like this way better. <laughs> that was this way better, not this way better. <laughs> All right, let's see what that does. They're definitely two different colored braids. Um, oh, I don't know. I like them both. Um, but there's not a lot of room. I'm being very indecisive right now. Um, gosh, I don't know. Uh, 
All right, I think I'm going to do, <laughs> I don't know. I think I'm gonna do the Spiro Farben Black and give it a more brown black, but if you don't have it or the Polychromos Black, just use regular black. Either way, I mean, it's, you know, either way it's gonna turn out pretty. I'll use my Prisma Black for the, like I did on the first one, to to really make the the deep shadow nice and dark. do every other braid. <laughs> This is really ridiculous that I can't make up my mind. But they really are so very different um, when used separately and not together. But on these little braids, there's not really room to use them together. Darn it, I don't know what I want to do. Well, if I don't make up my mind pretty soon, we're gonna have or we're gonna wind up doing every other braid, and that's just silly. I'm gonna do. Oh my goodness! How dumb is this? Um, all right, Prisma. It gets a little. Um, not complicated, but it's not a lot of kind of everything gets kind of smooshed together up there at the very top because it's so small, which is okay. All right, I guess my decision has been made. I guess I've chosen so Prisma. It is. I could just feel myself getting getting totally lazy on that just now. But that's okay. All right. I wonder what would happen. Yeah, good enough. You know what? I think I better um, do this side before I start doing this. I think that will make things easier not to have to put my hand right on top of the black.
if you are using a Prisma to do this, just turn your pencil every once in a while. That will help keep a, a sharper um, point. I think in this case we can just smudge smudge blend <laughs> just maybe try and put a teeny bit. I don't know if it'll make much difference because I don't want to cover up too much of the, the you know the gray highlight but just a little bit on here I think. Okay. Bottom braids, I think, will be a little bit more easier to do because they're bigger. These are actually going really fast, so we'll probably be able to move on to something else. I'm nah. <laughs> I was gonna say I'm just gonna go ahead and go through it, but we'll get one area finished at a time. I still think I can get away with just basically um, coloring around each of the little braided areas here, kind of like making little rectangles. It was more like circles or ovals up top, but these are a little bit bigger and more Let's see, now if we do this, I'm gonna blend all that black. Now we do have a little bit more room. To add a few kind of strands of that. did that already. Okay. 
just going to keep going here. I'd be very curious to see if I can get through this whole um, thing of hair without sharpening my pencil, without sharpening my Prismacolor. We'll see. Turning it definitely helps though. Lots of room to add. Yeah, I actually liked going over more of the gray on that one.
Okay, so I probably could do these other two braids without sharpening it, but I'm still gonna give it a, <laughs> a little bit. Why make my life harder than it needs to be? And since I've only got one more to do, we might as well just keep going. Yeah, I think we're gonna be throwing lots of brands of pencils on this page. I think I'm gonna do the gold with Polly's. You know, when you find those those color combos with different pencils that you really, really like, might as well, might as well use them. bit more of this warm black. I almost think that that's done. Let's see. Let's put a little bit Really, depending on what we do for the for the background, um, I maybe should have left a little bit of that um, pretty light because those colors would probably reflect in here. So I don't know. Maybe we'll do something different. Um, I'm gonna have to think about that. I've seen several gals do um, pyramids, do, draw the pyramid in the background, but everybody's been doing a day, a day sky. I don't know that I want to do a night. I don't know. I gotta think about that. Um, but I do like how she's. Um, I do like how she's looking, and I do like the kind of neutral. Um, makeup. So now we have to decide what we'll do next. Um, <laughs> that's a that's a good question. What am I gonna do next? All right. So we have jewelry. 
probably probably we'll do the let's do the jewelry um, yeah I think we'll do the jewelry next so let me um, pull out some of those colors whoops back out come on there we go it's so weird how it pops like that um, okay so there's her hair, and let me um, pull out what I want to do for the next part, and I'll be right back. Okay, so <clears throat> I pulled out a few colors. Some of them are polys, some of them are prismas. Um, I really, really like the green gold and the burnt sienna in the polychromos um, for gold. Um, I also like my espresso for gold um, and black and white. Um, if you don't have polychromos, I would say um, pull out like an like old ochre, um, bronze is nice, sienna brown, um, sand um, is nice. Those are um, some good colors to um, to use if you don't have the green gold and the um, burnt sienna in polys. So I have absolutely no idea what I'm doing here. <laughs> um, I'm just gonna, I'm, yeah, I'm just gonna do it like I would do it if I wasn't on film because, uh, yeah. So um, I don't know why, but I wanna start down here. Um, I'm gonna put my white in the center here. don't know what to do um, would those be indented and be darker or be pushed out I think they would be in I don't know I think they would be indented but I don't know for sure so I'm gonna yeah I don't know I'm feeling quite out of my element here and I don't know why All right, so this is the um, green gold polychromos. feel like I want to make sure that I have a little bit more white on here, at least in the <clears throat> center of the bead. I guess it's a bead. Chromos burnt sienna. too much of this because I'm feeling like as I'm laying it down it's taking away from that really gold gold look that I, I think I want so I'm 
just going to add a little bit more of that down here. Let's see what the espresso does. I'm going to start by putting it just under what you, the, <laughs> I have no idea what to call these. The, the band on these that makes it stand out. This part. shape or form an expert on doing gold that is for sure um, oh that is just not feeling that for sure. I'm not loving it. Although that's better. That's feeling a little bit better. I don't know why, but it did. Uh, I still, still want to work on her eyes. Her eyes look cross-eyed to me still. It's like I looked at the video, you know. Um, but and I'm looking at it going, oh my God, like her eyes are totally cross-eyed. So like I said, sometimes I look at it and they look wrong and sometimes I look at it and they look fine. dislike this so much. I personally do so much better when I have reference photos to work off of for things that I'm not sure about. I'm just not sure about this. So it's just... Kind of me winging it. So now I'm kind of curious what would happen if I added some bronze prism color to this. Don't know if it'll make much difference. We probably already have So much color down that it's really not going to matter. It's not really doing much. Um, I kind of feel like though that that sienna brown that I added was not a good choice. So I might leave that one out of the rest of the gold because I like the way this looks now a lot better. Sorry, I was zoomed out through that whole thing. 
Okay, so I um, have to decide. I know I'm going to want those to be gold, so let's just go ahead and do that. Now the question is, <laughs> I can't make my mind up. Okay, so this is the um, photo of the colors that I really, really liked for her. And I showed you guys this last time. Um, so I love these, these rich greens. That's kind of like a cerulean, maybe, I don't know. It's really a really pretty blue. So greens and blues and turquoises and golds. Um, I think I'm going to leave out the red just because, just because, <laughs> um, I might change my mind, but it's it was these colors that really attracted me that I thought would be really pretty on her. Um, so I guess I need to decide if this is going to be a gemstone or if it's just going to be um, indentation like the gold. It's like, how much color do I want in this page is the question. <laughs> and I don't have an answer. All right, we're going to do those in the color. <laughs> she, she says that she's still deciding. All right, while I think about that a little bit, I want to revisit these eyes because they're really bugging me. And... I don't know why. So I'm going to cover up the shine. I'm going to start there. Um, so I can get back to where, like back to basics. And I may just have to add it back in with the Posca. Well, I will, because I won't get Prismacolor over this now. But I can't figure out what's wrong with them. Like if I cover up one eye, I think that that eye looks fine. And if I cover up the other eye, I think that looks fine. But there's something that happens when I look at them together. And I don't know what that is. I just don't know. Doesn't that just drive you crazy when that happens? It drives me crazy. What did I do that makes her look cross-eyed? Because she does not look cross-eyed in the original. No, I didn't print on the other side. She does not look cross-eyed in the original. So what did I do? I don't know. And I have a feeling putting the white back in now, it's gonna, I'm going to be right back in the same exact situation that I was in before. This time I'm going to put it over on this side instead. why it's doing that uh, yeah if anybody sees something if it like stands out to you as like oh I know why it looks cross-eyed please please tell me because I'm just not seeing it I don't I don't know what's happening um, and I'm feeling the urge and I don't know why to add some more shadow under her neck This is probably not the right color to use, but I'm using it anyway because it's sitting here on my desk. All right, let's do some gold earrings. And then I think we might stop for the, <laughs> for the time being. 
little bit of white. I'm not sure how much there would be in there because it should be pretty dark. So I don't think that there would be a lot of um, light. This is black. green gold There's a delivery at the door <laughs> decided that I liked um, my easel so much um, for holding my um, swatch chart um, but I use my easel when I'm doing um, my art especially my um, my pastel art um, so when I'm using my pastel art I don't have it for for my swatch charts so I ordered another easel so I could put my big swatch chart on this eagle eagle on this easel um, next to me I have a little um, table next to me and so now my chart is just right there next to me and I can just reach over and flip pages and see what I've got and um, yeah, so that's what just came was another easel for me to use, tabletop easel to hold my swatch chart. All right, I definitely think I like this better without the, um, without that Sienna Brown polychromos. just fine. This is the bronze prisma, but again, I don't know that we really need it. All right. All right, we might just keep going. Okay, I'm going to I'm going to wait to do the um to do the stones in there until I get the color scheme down. So I think for now, I'm just gonna work on the gold, at least right here. So let's do a little bit of white. Um, and I guess those will probably be um, gemstones as well. Oh, this is Prisma <laughs> bronze, not the, um... yeah, I really like that. It kind of, it's a little dirtier, which is kind of, um, kind of nice. Yeah, I kind of like that. So let's see, how do we want to make the design on this? Um, that could just be like an engraved design in the gold with the gemstones showing, if that's what we choose to do. 
Um, I'm going to put a little bit of a little bit of sheen in the center here. And I'm going to use this Prisma Bronze. And lay some of this down before I do the, um, the polychromos green gold. Because it's almost like this doesn't show up. Um, so it's better to lay that down first. Okay, well now I'm feeling like I really like that bronze. Um, it's not as yellow as the green gold, which is interesting. I want to be careful not to have that white ending right at the same spot where that line is, because that looks weird. I gotta... <laughs> All right, I'm sorry. I'm going to probably change what I'm doing here mid color, but I'm preferring the um the bron the Prisma bronze color over the um green gold poly. I'm going to put some of this on here just so that th there's not a um so they don't look too different. But I I think I almost like the green gold as the accent color and the bronze as the main color of the of the gold. That looks all right. I think I think I like that. So let's do some espresso. Some of that out here. up some of these gemstones. <laughs> Or to get some color down on there, if that's what we decide to do. I mean, I, I'm I kind of am liking it. Well, that looks that looks pretty good. Um, I don't know how much color I'll be able to lift this way. Maybe if we do green, it won't matter. But I like the way that gold looks. All right, let's do her headdress. Um, Going to put bronze down. Part of me is debating on whether I want to try and make that um, snake a greenish, um, like a, 
a greenish gold, a green, like, so it has a little bit more green in it. Yeah, I like this um, green gold as the bright accent, the highlight-ish color, where it's really shiny, and this bronze. To age, age it up a little bit. I like, I like that. Okay, now snake. The snake could be done in gold and we could just do like green eyes, like green ruby eyes. That might be the best. That might be the best thing to do. So all of our color is going to come in the stones on her necklace. sure how I would do it there. Like to me those would almost just be gold and not like there's no stones in that. It's just etched gold. So we could do <laughs> all right um Let's just do the snake in the gold color. Feeling very undecided today, I think. I, need to, I think I need to stop filming and film the rest of it when I can make up my mind what I want to do, because this is just a little bit too much indecision for me. gold poly. Prisma. Prisma Espresso Maybe even some black
All right, I think I'm going to stop for the day since this does not seem to be a good day for me to make decisions. <laughs> And I'll figure out what I want to do a little bit better so that when we come back, we will have a plan. One more little thing. I want to get some. That's better. Got a little carried away right there. Okay. All right, so that will be all for today. And um, I will come back and work on her some more. Um, tomorrow. All right. Thanks so much for hanging out with me, you guys. I will, um, I will get my head together and figure out what I want to do, um, for next time. So until I see you then, take care of yourselves. Take care of each other. Happy coloring. Bye. Hey guys, it's me again. I am doing this little impromptu edit to the end of the video. As you can see, um, I've done a lot of changes to her. It, her eyes were driving me crazy. Um, there were things about the page that I just did not like. And it was like, all right, you got to make some changes. So um, I took out the heavy white dot in her eyeball and um, just kind of smudged a little bit of white. Um, I think I used my um, Derwent Drawings uh, Chinese white. And I already feel like her eyes look better. Um, and then I just started going, you know what? There's just not enough color in her face. So I started out with the lips and um, I added some more pyrrolene brown, um, which I did use on the lips in the, in the first video and a little bit of the um, uh, crimson aubergine and just kind of darkened that up a little bit because it just... I wasn't happy. And then one thing led to another and I'm like, all right, dang it. The eyes are still not any good. So I added some, um, I added some luminance, um, dark sap green and dark, um, I can't pronounce it, cytosaline green, um, number 719. I added those to the, um, to her eyes because I just, I just wasn't happy. And I even think I added some more pink, uh, the anthro pink to her skin. And um, in looking at the gold, I decided, nope, I changed my mind. And I did wind up adding some more of the um, burnt sienna. Um, I know that's upside down. The burnt sienna um, polychromos to that gold because it just, um, it was lacking in some stuff as well. So that is where we're at now. Um, I'm a lot happier with the the, um, the progress now so far, and um, I will continue on on the next video. I just wanted to kind of show you um, what I had done off camera because it was just driving me crazy, and I knew something wasn't right. So I feel a lot better about her now, and um, we will continue on from here. So. That is all. I'll see you guys next time. Thanks. Bye.